This is Gary Atencia with CNTV, and today we're in Denver, Colorado. I am here with QuickView Backup Camera Systems. Since 2008, they've been providing easy, do-it-yourself, rear-view cameras for automobiles while helping people drive safely. I'm joined by Bob, who is the co-founder, co-owner. Thanks for joining us, Bob. Let's start off a little bit about yourself. I mean, you're definitely no stranger to technology. You've worked in the uh, software industry prior to launching here. Share with me a little bit how this passion got started for you getting involved in this type of company. Well, it's uh, kind of interesting. We had uh, two passions, really. One was to make technology available for people to install easily. Um, the example I gave when we first started the company was everybody had VCRs when they first came out. Yeah. But when you walked into people's homes, they were always blinking 12 o'clock, 12 <laughs> o'clock. I remember them. Because nobody knew how to set them. They were, you know, they wanted the functionality, but they didn't know how to use the machine. Uh, there's lots of technology like that. So our first passion was to deliver technology simply. Out of the box, five minutes, you can use it. The other part of the passion came from an experience I had when I was a teenager. I was about 15 years old, driving home with a friend's mom from school. And she said, I'm going to stop and get some strawberries. She pulled off to a little roadside stand, gravel parking lot, jumped out of the car, put a couple dollars on a table, picked up a basket of strawberries, and then got back in the car, started up station wagon, started back up, and everybody was yelling, stop, 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 stop. And uh, she did. We got out of the station wagon, and there was a little two-year-old girl she had just run over. Um, couldn't see her. It was, she was just right behind the vehicle. There was no way she could have seen her. Couldn't have avoided it. Um, I can still see the gravel in the little girl's legs. Um, that stuck with me ever since. And so when I realized that we had the technology to create a rear view camera for virtually any vehicle that could be installed simply, um, I just jumped on the opportunity. Life changer for you. Yeah. Something to experience, something like that, definitely so. I mean, the simple common act of backing up out of our driveway. It's something that most of us do every single day. And yet, it's safe to say most of us don't realize that an accident could happen. I mean, is it, is it possibly more common than most people even realize out there? I think it is. Um, statistics show that about 1,000 children are run over every year. 100 of those become fatalities, and that's just in the United States. But if you were to talk to insurance agents, they would tell you that one of the most common accidents is just backing into something. Another car in the driveway, the mailbox, bicycles that are left in the driveway, uh, shopping carts, you know, <laughs> anything. Easy. You back over things all the time. We don't, we don't see behind ourselves, and we don't drive more than you know, a tiny percentage of our time backwards, so we're not very good at it. Uh, <laughs> so most of our accidents are backing up. I mean, obviously, I mean, in space, the automobile was designed to go forward, <laughs> not really to go backwards. So it's easy to see out the front, um, and it's unobstructed, easy seeing, but in reverse, it's a whole different animal. We're talking about obstructions. You can't see things. Um, that's something, it's, it's kind of an accident waiting to happen when you think of it like that. It is. Um, I, when we first started this uh, business, I got on a, a website that was called kidsincars.org, uh, I think mm -hmm. it was. Uh, they're kind of out of business now for this kind of thing. But they had a, a, a video on that site of a, a mom getting into a typical minivan. She gets in, she checks every mirror, she looks over her shoulder, she sees nothing. She's about to put into reverse, and then, of course, the narrator says, but wait. Yeah. <laughs> and then they pan back, and there are 60, 60 children behind the car. That's an impressive video, really showing the obstructions, showing there is danger behind you, you don't even know. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, they are talking about 15,000 back over accidents. We're talking about 30,000 backing up car accidents and injuries in the United States alone. Um, like you said, the highest risk is that of children and the elderly. Are many people kind of surprised to find out those stats are so high? I think so, yeah. When I talk to customers, now, most of the people I talk to have already decided to buy one, yeah. and so they know the, the need. But yeah, when I talk to other people, say, oh, I don't need one. I, I share a few of these, and they're very surprised, very <laughs> surprised. Like you said earlier, we spend very little time in reverse, thank goodness. Yet those numbers are pretty high. We're talking about accidents. It's a serious problem. Automobile has had a rearview mirror since the early 1900s. Why is that rearview mirror not enough? 
I mean, it's even if you had a, quite a few of them, it's still not enough. Well, if you just think just of the structure of the car, the back window is already three feet above the ground, right? So you know you can't see anything no. below that window. And with the mirror, it's still, you've got other obstacles, you know, passengers in the back seat and so forth. Um, Not to mention, I'm trying to lean back, look back, and, yeah. and get behind me as well. Mm -hmm. By 1950s, we've already seen the first backup camera on a car. Here we are 70 years later, and not all the cars have backup cameras. You might have a fancy newer car, they have it built in, but millions do not have a backup camera. I mean, their only option is that of an aftermarket camera. Share with me before we talk about your product, what are some of the drawbacks you've seen out there of the other cameras on the aftermarket? Well, there are basically three kinds. Um, one is fully wired, which if you can, if you can install that, that's your best choice, right. it really is. You have a camera mounted on the back, you drill holes, run wires all the way up to the front of the vehicle, uh, install the monitor, and uh, you might plug it in or maybe installed in the yeah. dash. That's the best, and they're fairly inexpensive, but you're going to, you know, either, you're either going to do the work yourself or you're going to pay several hundred dollars okay. for a technician to do that. Uh, the next choice is called wireless. Uh, it's the very same idea. You put a camera on the back, drill holes, run wires into your rear reverse light, so that uh, when you shift into reverse, it turns on the camera. Okay. Then it has a wireless signal to a monitor that's mounted in front. So you didn't have to run wires all the way through the vehicle. That's still fairly a intensive. Worse, You've got to have the courage to drill into your car. Right. You have to know the electrical system so you don't burn out the harness. Or you pay a technician another you know, few gotcha. hundred dollars to make that happen. We invented the next best, and that's a truly wireless. The camera itself has no wires. You do not drill into the, into yeah, the yeah. vehicle. You just mount it on the back. It has battery power. Put a monitor in the front, wireless transmission. You can install it yourself in about five minutes. That is impressive. And we're talking drilling, wiring. Ain't nobody got a time for that. Not <laughs> only that, I mean, people aren't that comfortable when it comes to their tools and altering their car in that way. I imagine some people are even fearing violating their warranty. Absolutely. Is that something you hear about that stops people from using a product? We, we heard it more back when uh, the you know, newer cars didn't have cameras. Now new cars have them. Your older car is probably already past warranty. You're pretty close, so we don't hear that as much. But if you want to be able to move it from vehicle to vehicle because you didn't alter the vehicle at all, uh, this is a okay. perfect choice for that. That is interesting. Let's talk about the quick view here. Not only are you able to quickly see behind you, but you, the installation is quick. Explain the installation for me again. Let's start from the back as well as the mount on the front. Tell me how it works. You bet. Let me just show you real quick. You got it. You have a camera. It has two mounting holes. Space the same distance as mounting holes on your uh, license plate. Pull the screws out of your license plate, put the screws back through the camera into the license plate, you're done. The camera is now installed. Easy right. peasy. Now you have a monitor. Uh, it has a peel and stick on the bottom. You just plug the power cord into the little power cord pigtail. In, mount it up. Plug it into the power outlet or cigarette lighter. Stick it on the dash. That's fully installed. You're right. We're Let, talking about five minutes, easy to do. I mean, not only is this easy, but it's free because it's do-it-yourself. I mean, for myself, I'd probably want to hire a professional to do those other ones, and that can be quite costly, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, if you think about it, most techs are going to charge you about $100 an hour, depending on how complicated it is. You've got to drill. You've got to run wires. Think of a hatchback or a, you know, a minivan with a back. You can have to run wires through that door into the reverse light. Um, that could take an hour or two, three hours in some vehicles. I can see why that prevents a lot of people from not wanting to even do it, honestly. Let's talk about the Trail Ridge technology difference here. We're talking about an integrated video and receiver, all in one unit. Mm -hmm. Why was that important? I should say our first product actually had two. We, yeah. had, a, we had a receiver and a monitor. Exactly. A little pigtail between them. But now look at your dash. You've got two items on there, it's looking clunky. You improved I, it. It takes you longer to install it because you have the multiple pieces. This is all in one, seriously, just put it on there, you're done, and it's well in reach, that kind of thing. What is the size of the screen? This is a 4.3 inch screen. We actually have a seven inch screen as well. Okay. Um, it's a little larger, it's not suitable for every vehicle because it'll take so much visibility out of the dash. 
But if you have a you know a large pickup or you know a motor it home or something like the that, customer. then you want the customer that. and best yes. on what they like on their dash. Mm -hmm. I mean, a hundred percent digital quality. Once again, didn't start out that way, I imagine. Yep. But now we're digital quality. Why is that important? The video is you know the image isn't that much better, but what is really better is the continuity of signal. Okay. You know you don't have the interruptions, the interference. Uh, think of your older television. When you turned yeah. on the microwave, it used to get fuzzy. Now, because it's digital, you don't have that problem. We have the same thing. If you, if this can get the signal from the camera, you're going to have a good picture. So. Excellent. What are you able to control off of the screen there? I mean, is it just an on and off, or is there anything else that can be controlled? The, the camera is designed to turn off automatically okay. after a period of time. So after you've backed up, you don't want the camera running anymore. Okay. So you keep it going. So we can, we can adjust the delay for turning off. Um, down to 15 seconds, up to two minutes. We defaulted at 30 seconds. Nice. But if you have a long driveway, if you're backing into a really busy road, you'll want a little bit longer. So you can adjust that. You can adjust whether it auto times out or not. Um, some people wanted to say, I want it to be a rearview mirror and keep it on. It'll run down the battery quickly, but yeah. But you do have preferences a, of something we, we want do. to do right there as well. Yep. Um, obviously, it's great to see what's behind you. You're backing up. What about folks who want to see over the front bumper? Is that something that can be done as well? It can be. Uh, we can support up to two cameras with one monitor. Um, That's cool. And you can put one on the front, reverse that signal, and now you can see. So if you're afraid of running into the trash cans in the front of the drive in a garage or whatever it is, or if you're parking in that parking space and there's a car right in front of you, you just can't see that. I just spoke with a customer a few days ago who has depth perception issues. Yeah. He bought it just for that purpose. He wanted to be able to parallel park and be able to see how far he is behind and how far he is in front and be able to adjust that and see both. So. I sleep better at night knowing my wife had one of those. Yeah. You know, knowing yeah. she's pulling up to the, the thing, you know, and it got yep. too close. I mean, obviously this is great for any automobile out there, but honestly, I, there's even more of a need uh, for trailers, SUVs, RVs. Um, the distance of the digital reception obviously needs to be more for these larger automobiles. Um, what has been your testing on those? How has this held up? You know, when we first developed the product, uh, the digital product in particular, we decided to do a distance test. Yeah. We now went out to a country road and started measuring how far we could go. Uh, I was a quarter mile from my, <laughs> from my partner. Uh, or was it a half mile? I'm, I'm forgetting now. A quarter half mile. I think, half was mile. it a half mile? I was a half mile from my partner, and we were still getting great reception. It was getting late in the day, and we just said, that's enough. No, no vehicles are that large. We don't need that. But the distance, you know, this, can, this could probably go for a mile or two. Um, obviously, when you put it on the back of a trailer or a motorhome or a camper or a car, it's going to limit the distance a fair amount. Uh, because you're not going through open air, you're going yeah. through a trailer or whatever it is, or around the trailer. But it really does show that. Yeah. I mean, I researched it and I seen um, that it was a half a mile, but uh, I wanted to hear that from you, how you guys actually yeah. set that up and do it. That's amazing. Yeah. I mean, um, as we said before, we're talking about 30,000 backup accidents per year. Over 100 of those result in death yearly. We're not even talking about damaged fences, curbs, other cars, shopping carts, pets, that money can add up. It's pretty amazing when you start thinking about how many things um, you're going to save. Yeah, well, absolutely. If you have you know, just a $500 deductible on your, on your car, um, you're going to pay $500 for that fender bender right away just to repair that. I mean, that's twice the price of the vehicle or the camera almost. Uh, if you backed into somebody else's car, now you've got your own repairs, you've got their repairs. You know, heaven forbid you've actually backed into a person. Um, yeah, it's a... This, I mean, for me, this is a great thing for somebody to get for themselves. Personally, myself, I just came back from Florida to Colorado. I would have loved to have this because I'll tell you why. I've got a nice modern car that already has built-in backup camera. The problem is uh, we put a cargo uh, on the back of it because we're bringing a lot of stuff back. Yep. I wanted to be able to look at that from time to time, make sure it wasn't blown away, make sure things were safe. Unless I'm in reverse, I can't turn on my camera. It kind of drove me nuts. This actually can stay on, or I can take a look at it at least and right. glance. If you simply tap a button on the back of this monitor, it will turn on the camera. Again, for that same duration, 15 seconds or 30, minutes, 30 seconds, yeah. whatever you have set up. But yes, yeah, so if you've got that cargo carrier, or if you're 
pulling a utility trailer with a tarp over it. You just want to make sure the tarp is still over the leaves. Exactly. You can, you can do that and see. Like I said, it's a, a, a great something to buy for yourself, but what a great gift for a lot of people as well. And we're talking about buying for a teenager starting to drive, um, the elderly, um, grandparents, been pretty popular in that way as well, I imagine. It has, it has. Um, you know, a lot of people have re recognized that their their parents are getting older, a little yeah. harder to look over the shoulder. Uh, get this for them, they love that. So. Are people, are the customers pleasantly surprised how easy it is to install? What's been some of the feedback you've heard when they are able to do that? You know, we get uh, we get good reviews on our website. Um, very few people have had any I issues. Sometimes the hardest issue is, well, where do I put it? You know, how far away from me? And uh, can I get it down off the dash? We actually offer a couple of installation options. Um, we've got a, a, a magnet good. mount that goes on a, your air vent. Just put the, a little Easy. steel plate on the back. It'll stick on the magnet. Uh, when you park in a high crime area, just pull it down, put it under your seat. Nobody sees it. It's not on the dash. It's not uh, avoiding anything. Uh, we have a suction cup option. People can put up on the windshield if they like. Uh, so really, the, the biggest issue with installing is, where do I put it? What you said at the beginning, you want to make technology easy and accessible for people. I mean, hopefully, none of us have to experience an accident, or even worse, experiencing seeing one like you did. This is something that really changed your life. Um, really, what you're doing now is you're, you're changing lives, you're saving lives in five minutes. Does this continue to be rewarding for you? Yeah, I, I really, really do get excited when I think about what, what people are avoiding by getting this product. Um, I don't have feedback from my customers saying, hey, I didn't run over my granddaughter this week. Obviously, I don't get that. But that's what's part of the, the joy of it, is knowing that they're not doing that. They're not likely to because they have a camera now which they didn't have before and making sure nobody ever has to see something like you did as well. Yeah. Viewers, let's take a look at the bottom of the screen right there. What you're going to see is their website. On the website, you're going to learn a little bit more about the Quick View story, how this came to be, the technology behind it. They've got a great Q&A right there, why you should buy the Quick View. Um, Cam, obviously it's great technology, but at the same time, it's super easy to use. Five minutes, and you can go online right there, shop and order check it out. About the time that it took you to order the thing, you'll probably be able to install the thing on your car, which makes it kind of exciting as well. Check out the videos. They're going to show you how basically you can install this and put it together. We've shown you a little bit here as well, but also the testimonials. Testimonials from people who are no longer afraid while they're backing up. And that's something we do every day, be it out of our home or at a shopping center, you name it. It's something we're going to do every single day, so why not make it safe? Once again, that is the Quick View Backup Camera Systems. What are you risking without a backup camera? This is Gary Atensi with CNTV. And if you don't know, now you know.